Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so much to show you. It's going to be crazy and it's like all over the place. You know, last night I thought about, you know, should I try to get up and get my things early? And I thought, no, I'm not getting anything that special. And I get up at like 530 anyway. To be sure, when I got up this morning, the LYS blush was sold out and the Charlotte Tilbury palette that I wanted. So I ended up just ordering that palette from the Charlotte Tilbury site. I just was surprised. Okay, so first of all, this is something that I purchased from the Sigma website along with, remember I told you about my favorite eyeliner brush? Well, that came from a little set that you get at Sigma. So I ordered the little set again, which has this little mini E05 and I love this brush. And, oh, I've got both of them here, my old one and my new one. You might get another, is it just three brushes? It might just be three of them. But then you get this one, which is really good for not only concealer, but it's good for your eye primer. And it's good when you do that little outline around your lips to blend that in. And then a really good, just basic, uh, medium angled shadow brush. So wanted to show you those because this eyeliner brush is so good with gel liner. That's the first thing. What I really went there to order is a new collection by Brianna Fox here on YouTube. And she did a little collection of five brushes. And I was watching her video when she was doing a tutorial with these. And you know, I always like to support fellow YouTubers. And, and what really got me is this brush. It's the Fox 4. And I'm not sure exactly what it's called. It's apply cream or powder foundation, bronzer, blush, or highlight. I have used it, not today, but yesterday I used it for foundation and I loved it. It's just like in between a flimsy brush and one of those really stiff buffer brushes. And sometimes I feel like those are just too stiff for me. So this was perfect. Then like a little highlighter type brush. This blender brush is wonderful. I have a hard time being the person that just does this. I'm just one of those people that want to do this, but this brush really makes you feel like you can do that. Like swirl around in circles and really buff in your eyeshadow. And then this brush, which is, well, it's in the set. It's just like a straight brush. And this is what I did my winged liner with, with shadow. And yesterday I did no wing. I meant to do no wing today and out of habit, I did a wing. So I had to do it on the other eye, but love them. So I just think, oh, and this is another blending brush. And I believe this one is just gonna be more precise. Let's see what the name of this one is, Fox 2 apply detailed eyeshadow in the crease, eyelid, or lower lash line. They're just really, a really good set of brushes. So I recommend these and I've been excited about them. Okay, and then speaking of eyeshadow bases, have you guys heard people talk about the P. Louise base? You probably all have it, I'm just so behind. So I went ahead and ordered one. I got the Rumor 2 and it came in this precious little box. Here, maybe this will help. Yeah, came in this precious little box. Looks like little girl stuff. And I would say it's good. I haven't noticed anything like miraculous, but I do know that I can get the smallest little amount and then put it on one eye and then use the rest on the other eye. So you need, this will last me the rest of my life. So if you use this, tell me what you think about it and if there's any other colors, because there's also different colors. I'm thinking of getting a taupey one because I think it would be, it spreads out so good, I think it would be a good one and done shadow. So I would love to try that. This is something, a lot of you guys ask me about this brush every time I use it. It's an old body brush from Eco Tools. This is what I use for body bronzer, definitely. And I've also been using it with this because I told you I was just so tired of the self tanner getting all over my bed and everything. It's just been better for me to, first I have to think about what I'm gonna wear that day. And then I go in with this Sally Hansen leg spray and I just tan the parts of my body that are gonna show. Like today, 
I've got on a long pants that are just cropped. So I just tanned my feet and my legs up to where I knew they would show. And then tonight I'll put my shower cap on and I'll just scrub up and get clean. And then, you know, I don't have to worry about it when I get in the bed. So one thing I wanted to tell you is this is the tan. Last time I showed you the medium, tan is so much prettier. It is, it's not darker. It's just more of a, it's almost lighter because the medium has more of that uh, peachy, orangey type undertone. This is more of a yellow, yellowish tan undertone, you can see. So I have this on my arms all the way down to my hands and the brush I used today, I got this at Ulta and it was on like their clearance aisle. I paid $12 for it, but I looked it up when I got home to make sure you guys could still get it and it's available and it's still $12. So I don't know if they're just phasing it out and that's why it was there. But this is the Revolution little body bronzer brush. And when I looked it up, it got great reviews. So I think that they're very, very similar. This one's old, so it might not have started out. You know, it probably started out just about the same size. But like I said, I used it today just to make sure it was good and I loved it. And speaking of, I did order the IT CC Cream Body Makeup that they just came out with. I ordered it from QVC. I think they had sent me a, like a notification. So I will be getting that soon. Matter of fact, I'm getting a lot of stuff today. Clothes and more makeup. So I don't know, I might do a part two tomorrow because it's almost, it is spring and it's almost summer and it's almost like spring, warm spring weather and I'm getting so excited. So I have ordered a lot of things and oh gosh, let me go um, cut off my computer. But I do have some trips planned too, so that's exciting. This is gonna be a funny one. Have you guys ever used Poopery? Well, this is the best one I have ever used as far as loving the scent. It's Beach Bum. It's coconut, orchid, and toasted praline. And I'm sure you guys know what it is, but it's essential oils. It says Poopery Beach Bum is formulated with 100% natural essential oils that eliminates bathroom odor before it begins. So you can leave the porcelain throne smelling better than you found it. That is true. It works so good. And I like to have like this on hand. Sometimes I even get the small ones like when I travel and I just love the scent. And I have to have really loved it to be able to show this, but I want you to try it. Oh, what is the next thing that I feel so strongly about? I think it is, you know, I told you we're going to go from Wet n Wild to Gucci today. Well, Wet n Wild is this. I've got, I've already, I think I've bought two. Yeah, I've bought two and I ordered another one on Amazon because I want to keep one in my car. It is a lipstick called Peach Passion. And you guys know they took away our Shining Peach, which I have many backups, but I hate to wear stuff that's discontinued. I feel like it's not fair. Anyway, so I saw this in, I think, Walmart because you have to make sure you get the white one, not the black one. I tried one of the black ones yesterday. They're matte, and it's not even that I don't like matte lipstick sometimes because I'll put a gloss over it but they're not the same. They're just not the same. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It is like the container is kind of cheap, you know? Huh, I was thinking the cap came off of mine in my purse one time, but I must have not snapped it down good. But this is what I have on today, and it is just beautiful. It's glossy, it's peachy, it is just amazing. And it goes with so many different lip liners. Today I tried, I typically probably wouldn't have worn it with this lip liner set, but I just wanted to show you so bad. So don't forget to get this when you go out. I tried a few of the other colors like strawberry licorice, I think, no, strawberry something. And then there was one that was like a nude or a brown color. None of them were as good as this one. So if you see another one you like, you might like it. It was a mauve color, I think, but that one was definitely the best one. And then these lip liners. The, I've told you about them before, but they're the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liners. 
My favorite is probably still Totally Toffee, then Mauve, then what I've been loving and what I use today is the Raw Chocolate. It is just like if you were to take, oh, let's see, if you were to take this color foundation or something, you know how people outline their lips and do it with like a bronzer stick or something? It kind of gives you that, you know, um, look. It's kind of like a, I don't know how to say it. Is it like an orangey chocolate? I don't know how to describe it. It's a fleshy chocolate color. And you can blend it in and it gives your lips like that really plump look. I've got it on today. Then I usually blot or rub that in and then I've been using this one, which is Gone Grage. And this one has more of that mauve tone. So the two of them together kind of give you just a good shadow outline. And then I did pick up, I know a lot of you like the dark brown lip liner, so I picked up Rich Chocolate. And if you'd like a brown tone, I think you would love that. I think I will probably give this one away because I don't think I'll ever wear anything that dark. And then I got Pink Coral. This one is kind of bright, but it still has that depth to it that I think I'm going to be able to use this with some lighter lipsticks and maybe no eye makeup at all and then just do this lip. That's a look I want to do. I also want to do that with red one day. So love these. This weekend, when you're at Ulta, get some of these or CVS, wherever. Get some of these that you like and then get that lipstick. One thing I like to do here, let me, let me take this off and let's start over and do something else. Totally toffee. Okay, and that's probably looking a little darker than usual just because it's over the others. Okay, now we're gonna do, this is what I've had on, I think I had this on in my hair video. We're gonna do the Peach Wet n Wild. And usually what I'll do is kinda let that set a little bit while I'm doing my makeup and then I blot it a little bit, and then I go over it with my golden hour. And this adds, which I need to wipe it off. I put it over so much stuff. It adds a different tone and it adds a little bit of shimmer. It just gives it a whole different dimension. And this will look better as the video goes on. Oh, I heard yesterday, who was it that was talking? I can't remember who I was listening to. It might've been Naomi Campbell. I think about Pat McGrath said her mom used to say, do your makeup and then take a bath because that steam and everything will make your makeup look better. I think that is so true. I think makeup looks so much better after you have worn it for a while. So gosh, look, this is just a baby, an honest baby wipe, but my goodness, see, so these last a long time too. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about them. Another really good, really good, cheap find and Brooke saw this and you know put it in our cart it's the makeup revolution brow glue i have this on today i've already applied it i have it on with this someone asked to make sure i was using medium brown in this anastasia brow sculpt and it is it's medium brown and it's the one that has the tip like that it's one of my favorite colors in anastasia i think it's the perfect darker brow for a blonde and then this has just been amazing so grab this too this you'll have to grab at ulta okay, today i am wearing one of the laura mercier cream or tinted moisturizer cream blushes that i showed you the other day i'm wearing the southbound so if you like my blush that's what this is it went on great i think i just i put it in my hand and i bounced like a beauty blender in it and then put it on my cheek it did not move my makeup or anything I also picked up this liner. It's called Smog from Urban Decay. It's a little bit lighter than Bourbon. And I started my eye makeup out with this and you could really, I would like to try this one day with no primer 
because I thought about doing that today, but I had already put my primer on. I thought about just using this and making just like a smokyish, bronzy eye, but you would have to use it basically like put concealer or foundation on your eyes so you can slide this around a little bit, but it's really pretty and I have it on my waterline. So that is a goodie that I got. Another thing is if you don't like the MAC Mascara or the Lash Princess, this is a really good one. I got this a while ago and it's the Rare Beauty Mascara. It's just a little small one I got. And that's what I have on today along with some individual lashes. And th they may backfire on me when I look back at this video because I did try a new glue today. I tried this one, the Fast Drying Quick Set uh, Clear one. So I don't know if there's gonna be like some shiny pieces in between my lashes. I figured I would just risk it. So I used these. I used these yesterday too, these and then these. And what I'm doing is, like I said, I didn't wanna use or didn't wanna put wing liner on today. I like it when you can use the individual lashes because I can still lift the ends of my eyes without having a wing. So I'm gonna do a tutorial or a get ready with me tutorial on Monday. I got a new foundation I want to try. I've tried it, I've tried it one time, but I want to do a, just a higher end to get ready with me on Monday. And maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll use no wing and do the individual lashes because they're easy. They're very easy. They might even be easier for you than regular strip lashes. And I did place a Makeup Forever order last week. They were having, I think, 30% off of their whole website. So I ordered two of the face powders. Both of them are a little dark. I think I had to just guess the shades. I couldn't remember what my face shade was. And then one of them I got to be kind of like a bronzer. So I, I love these. If you ever want a good face powder, these are good. And then I ordered lots of their brushes because I love Makeup Forever brushes. I mean, I ordered a bunch of them. And it was like right after I placed this order, I was watching Mario do Kim Kardashian's makeup and he was using this crazy sponge. I don't even know what it's called. It was only $5. It was less than the cost of them shipping it, which was free during that sale. And so that's something else I want to try. He really likes it. I think it's gonna be similar to the Stands Out sponge, but smaller, I might like it even better. So, you know, I just wanted to, I don't, I can't review like these specific ones yet, but I just wanted to tell you I got them so when you see me using them in videos, I'm going to stand up and do my outfit of the day. And then I'm gonna show you some shoes that I got and then a pair of sunglasses. So stay with me. Okay, so my outfit today was kindly sent to me, not the outfit, but the picture from one of my Instagram followers and I love it. I have forgotten all about this brand. It's Pistola Denim and it is just a jumpsuit. I guess they would call it like a boiler, like a utility type jumpsuit. It's available in many colors and long sleeve, but just, I might get a white one, but for the first one, I just got this faded black and I've got some new shoes to show you, but the shoes that I like with it are these, just my good clear ones from Zara. And I told you guys they had sold out of these, but they are restocked. I ordered another pair for backup because you never know when one of these bands is gonna pop or something. And I just love these shoes so much. I never want to be without them. They're not expensive. I think they're like 50 bucks, which I have definitely gotten my cost per wear from that. And the jumpsuit is so well made. It came with the sleeves already rolled up. So I'm gonna leave them like that. And then it really buttons, but it also has snaps so that you can wear it like open like this or maybe even one down. And then it still has a snap inside that would keep it closed. And then it comes with, it came on that button. I think it's got, is it two or three buttons? Yeah, it's got three buttons and I just tightened it up on the tightest button so that it would, um, you know, just come in and give me a waist. But you could also put like some fabulous belt. Like if you had a really big, fabulous 
I don't know, silver, gold, rhinestone, anything, some kind of cool belt, it would be perfect. But you guys know I love a jumpsuit, and so far I really love this, and I felt like it was something different for me. Okay, next are these little clear mules from Dillard's. I was in there, I don't know when, it was like a week or two ago, and I saw these, and they're by Gianni Beanie. And if you've been here with me, you know some of my favorite, favorite shoes have been by Gianni Beanie. So I thought to myself, no, you've already got those other ones, you don't need them, and they just stayed on my mind. And I really think a lot of you may like these better than those because they are lower, but they're still really pretty. And what I really like about them, they are cork, or the cork look. So I feel like it gives them a classier vibe than maybe the other ones that have the clear heel. And I just feel like they're really pretty, like with all of those little slip dresses that I've gotten from Zara and Walmart and Mango, I felt like these would look really good. And I'm so glad I tried them on because they run small. She said, because of this, you have to get a half a size up. And then these, I feel like I don't need to try them on. Look, I'll try them on just for the heck of it. But I saw these and I just had to get them. You guys know I wear these every day of my life and they do wear out, but I cannot complain. As much as I wear them, I can't complain. And I thought, how cute would these look with a little pair of white, sweatpants or white terry cloth pants or one of those little jumpsuits that I have that are that velour, I think, I can't remember, Susie Condi, I think is the name. But anyway, I love these. You guys know fluorescent is like in the whole Y2K and I just thought they were cute. For my flip-flop lovers, I grabbed just a good basic pair of rainbow flip-flops. I felt like these were just pretty. I know that they're not, you know, oh, let me put them over here. I know they're not like extremely special, but they do have like a little bit of a wedge. And I really like, this is going to sound funny. I like it when the flip-flops are kind of rough or have some kind of texture. If they're real smooth, it kind of grosses me out. I don't know what it is. So these I got, oh, they feel good. I just got these yesterday afternoon in the mail. Okay, oh my goodness. Get these, if you are a flip-flop person, just get them. They feel so good and look, they look good. They're not um, too, like I don't have a lot of toe stuff at the end. They're perfect, perfect. Perfect. And the size I got is the women's large seven and a half to eight and a half. And I am pretty much a true blue size eight. Soft and easy fit. And they really are. And see, these are the ones that are good. These and the Javianas are good to wear to the beach. I mean, you can wear almost anything to the pool, but to the beach, you want something that can uh, get wet. And okay, I'm gonna have to operate on that later. Okay, and then last, but not least, some new little Gucci shoes, which are very similar to the ones that I have with the cork and the clear, but these are just classic, classic. I just don't think these will ever go out of style. If I end up liking these, I really like the cream ones too, but I knew this would be good with all of my little dresses and with jeans or basically anything, and a new black would be the color that I would use the most. They're so comfortable, you guys. They're so comfortable. They have a really good like space for your the ball of your feet. And I would say, let's see what size I ordered. I think I ordered, oops, I think I ordered half a size up. Yeah, these are 38 and a half. And like I said, I'm an eight. And they're just pretty. I love how they even have like the chevron on the inside to wear the clear ones today but I'm thinking these might look good I'll evaluate it when I edit the video so but they are so comfortable and I knew I'm going out of town a few times and we're going to stay at the beach a couple of weeks I don't know if I wear these at the beach you never know if we go out or something but um I love them and I ordered these they got them on the Gucci site I ordered them from Nordstrom because I used 
some of my points, my note. Okay, and I forgot the last ingredient of my lip combo is Buxom Celeste. How can I forget that? That's like the main thing here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot wait until you get that lipstick. Just get Totally Toffee or Magnetic Mauve and get that lipstick. If you have my lipstick already, put that over it with this and it wears all day. You will just love it. Okay, so for accessories, I have on my hoops that I've been loving, the little Miranda Fry Huggies. I have not taken these out and so far so good. And um, Cajun Shrimp, my regular watch, and I should have put on a necklace. I just didn't even think about it. Gosh, I'm out of breath from like talking and moving and everything. So I hope you guys have a good weekend. I may see you this weekend. If I'm feeling froggy, I may show you what I get from Sephora today when I go and what I get in the mail. Cause I know I've got some good stuff coming. I can't remember exactly what it is right now. I've got those, I need to show you the Refi lip liners and stuff like that. So I may see you this weekend. If not, I'll see you Monday. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.